I'd rather the simple ass nigga who just take my kids as they own, but. Uh, of course, bro. It's, it's it's easier. It's easier that way. It's easier that way, and and that's and that's why Sierra was so lucky to like she she literally lucked up, man. Like if I'm telling you right now, if it doesn't work out between her and Russell, I mean, it seems to be working. Even though I know he got exposed by cheating on her and stuff like that, but if it doesn't work out, but between the bro, he, he what 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? What is happening? No, not yeah. not Russell. Bro, these guys, why, why, why are women so shocked when, when y'all hear about stuff like this? I've said this before. Men want multiple. They want a variety of women to sleep with. Like y'all, I don't get why y'all don't don't understand that. Like the same thing with like LeBron James and Steph Curry and all that stuff. Like this is, this has been going on since since the beginning of time. Like you know, kings and pharaohs always had multiple wives and still had women that they were sleeping with. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't get why why people are so confused about stuff like that. It's it's just different when you've just seen when you've seen them be so successful together, and yeah. when you've heard them talk about it, like when you've heard they're them still successful say, though they still together. They're still together, but these are not people who are like openly saying like we have an open relationship or we've been together oh. for a long time, so we have an understanding. So when it pops up, it's just like I thought she was the one. You didn't need yeah, it. Yeah. It was like whatever yeah. because I, I I feel the same way. I don't feel like. Like, LeBron and Savannah have been together since they were, like, 17. Yeah. Like, I feel like he's dibble-dabbled. She may be dibble-dabbled just because we've been together for so long. Like, yo, I don't know what nothing else is. Cool. Even with Steph and Aisha. But when y'all give off this persona of, like, perfection and, like, this is what you should strive for, which they don't willingly do. Like, nobody wants to be relationship goals. But we see it and we're just like, yo, it's just a shock. It's just like, dang. Can't no nigga be happy with just one? I mean, you seen Derrick Jackson fall, so I mean, <laughs> and, and, and he was the he 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 was he was a king of of of, of, of the damn Simpson and the damn woman parent of her, bro. I was so happy when when that when that man when he. Why fell were y'all you know? so happy when that nigga got caught? Y'all 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 kept comparing us to him, kept comparing us to Steve Harvey and all these other guys. And I, I kept saying, I remember years ago, I made a video about him and I was like, yo, guys like him do not exist. This man is fake. And I said, I was like, yo, I wouldn't be surprised if this man um, had had like some mistresses, mistresses on the side. And then look what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, like guys like that don't exist. Like guys don't come out and say, oh, you're a fictional, fictional crown queen. And yeah, you're, you're 400 pounds, but you're still beautiful. It don't matter if you got five kids, probably different guys. You should still be treated with respect. Guys don't talk or think like that. That's cap. You know what I'm saying? The, the, I've never seen or heard any guy more fake than that. And so when he was exposed, I'm for real. I'm for real. But so when, when he when he got exposed by um, uh, what's her name? When he got exposed by Tasha, and Tasha K put him on blast. Like he had all she had all the girls calling. Like you know what I'm saying? And just imagine, you got six girls pregnant within a year's time of your marriage. Those are just the six women that that decided to step up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How many other women that you didn't get pregnant? Or maybe you did get pregnant, you just paid them off. Who knows? But how many other women were you sleeping with that 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 that, that you don't know about? And you weren't using condoms with with majority of them. So not only are you getting these girls pregnant, you passing around STDs and you bringing it back home to your wife. You know what I'm saying? I think his wife is stupid. His wife should have should have them should have left and kept and kept it moving. But um, when you when you read her backstory, she she never um and you see her old backstory. She she never really was attracted like that. She never got um, guys' attention like that. Like you know, she she was like a lame on campus, and now here you are, this lame girl that's 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 with this star athlete. You know what I'm saying? And she and and he was saying that he wasn't even attracted to her like that. She was just doing a girl that did his homework. You know what I'm saying? She he was girl. She was a girl that yes, she was a girl that did his homework because he was threatened to be thrown off the football team because the GPA kept falling. That's how they met. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um in, in my in my opinion, I think she's attractive, but a lot of other people is like, yo, she's like she's unattractive, she's a lame, she's a this, she's a that. In my honest opinion, I think she's attractive. I uh, you know, I, I like I like natural women, so I don't think I don't see what the problem is um with 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 her. I, I thought she was pretty attractive, but it was like, yo, well, she's this and she's that, blah, 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 blah. But that's one of the reasons why she stayed. She knows for a fact she's not gonna get anything better than Derek Jackson. She knows she can't do anything better than him. You know what I'm saying? And she's not used to getting any other guys attention but from him and i wouldn't be surprised if he if he was her first i wouldn't be surprised I, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised you know what i mean so that's it 
So that nigga just doesn't exist. No guy that exists like that, bro. That's 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 cap, bro. That's cap. Guys that come out and say stuff like that, those are the main ones you need to avoid. Those are the main ones you need to avoid. I'm for real. I'm, okay, I'm for real. Lying. He wasn't the man that he was preaching about, but there's no man that he was talking like there's no man that fits anything that no. he said. No. When Kevin Hart was exposed for sleeping with them girls at the brothel, Derrick Jackson was one of the first men that jumped out here talking down on him. Oh, I can never do that in my marriage. And this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. Mind you, Kevin Hart and his wife were separated at a time, you know, but that's, that's whatever. He was like, yeah. oh, oh, well, I don't believe in separations. I only believe in marriage and divorce. I'm like, and so when all that stuff happened with Derrick Jackson, and he was like, oh, well, me and her were separated. You just said in your video about Kevin Hart that you don't believe in it. Now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so... Again, bro, guys like that don't exist. I'm sorry, bro. Guys like that do not exist. And that's that's one of the main reasons why when I asked you the question, what's one thing that you will want men to understand about women? What I will want most women to understand about men is that men want variety. They're not going to tell you that they want variety, but men, most men want variety. Most men want to sleep with different girls. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with how you look. No, you don't need to lose more weight. No, you don't need to be more sexy or attractive or whatever. It has literally nothing to do with you. It's just the fact that we like having variety. That's it. That's it. So is that, does that fall, like, do you fall under that category? So when you're married, you're still going to want an open relationship or what? I, I, I don't believe in open relationships. I think they're stupid. I don't, I don't think they work. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I would, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just being real. <laughs> I, I would prefer, um, I prefer like threesomes, man, but even threesomes, bringing threesomes into a marriage, you're causing trouble. You know what I'm saying? You're, 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 you're bringing in someone else's demons into your house. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, th th these are like the types of talks and conversations we're going to have that we're going to need to have before being married and stuff like that. Um, and, and stuff because yeah i'm, I'm gonna get i'm gonna get bored with 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 sleeping with you i was with my ex for damn near five years i got bored after two years three years you know what i'm saying even though she was open to having like threesome stuff like that i don't think she was bisexual i think she just did it because she knew my ex um the the colombian girl that was bisexual and so i think she just tried to put herself in her shoes on some because she i don't think she enjoyed it like that like you know what i'm saying like she did it because i think she think that i liked it that's why she did it you know what i'm saying so I mean, yeah, which I did, yeah, yeah, <laughs> which I did, yeah, but I, I think, I think that's it, I think that's it, so, um, it's just, it's just a lot of communication we're gonna have to damn go through and have, like, a, a lot of talks we're gonna have, man, it's just a lot, it's just a lot. Is there no way for you not to get bored, like, that's one thing with my marriage, I feel like sex-wise, we were, whew, like, yeah, it wasn't boring, like, we did different things, and he was a type, he's like, I don't want a three, like, because I'm bisexual, he doesn't, he didn't want a threesome he didn't want me to have a girlfriend like nothing like he like if i did something with a girl he's like yo you're cheating like blah 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 but like our sex oh, is like, right. it's cheating it's still cheating i think I, I still think it's cheating if you're doing something with a girl i still think it's cheating I, I told you about my colombian ex like she will sleep with girls behind my back and i'll be like yo like what the hell like what, what you doing you know what i'm saying so i still think it's cheating yeah all right we'll get back to that <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah i don't feel like that ever died out like with us like i don't see like the getting bored i feel like the only reason i got bored i didn't even get bored because we were still having sex when we were like kind of broken up situation so is there no way for like one woman to satisfy everything um i think i think as long as you have that type of talk prior to i think i think you're going to be good I think you're going to be good as far as like um as far as us getting bored it's kind of like it's kind of like eating the same thing every day like you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you're still hungry you still need to eat you still need substance you still need food and water and all this that and a third but you're going to get bored of it you know what i'm saying it's not going to taste the same as it did when you first tasted it you know what i'm saying i, I think it's the same thing with 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 sex it's not going to be the same high as it was when you first you know had sex or whatever um but yeah, I, I think eventually you're going, you're just going to get bored with it, man. I, I think a year, two years, three years in, you guys are going to have to start trying new things, trying new positions, bringing in toys, doing this, that, and third, watching videos together and all, or whatever. Well, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is. I think y'all going to have to do all that, all that. But you still don't think that one woman is going to be enough? No, no. I, I have. A, 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 again, like cheat and cheating is a part of relationships. I And I, I'm a firm believer in that. 
Um, but the reason behind it, like the motive behind it is, is it should be the reason why or the grounds to um, why you will break up with someone. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you're in, if you're in a married, if you're married for 10 years or 15 years or whatever the case may be, like, for example, LeBron James, like nobody can tell me LeBron, like that's the only woman he's been sleeping with. Like, come on, bro. Like, no, there's no way in hell. And, and it's the same thing with, you know, Steph Curry, Steve Harvey, Derek Jackson, clearly all these guys that, that's constantly trying to portray themselves as a good guy. You like, you see it happen over and over and over again, whether he's cheating or she's cheating or they're both cheating, somebody's going to be cheating. You know what I'm saying? So you're already like, you're ready to go into marriage in a relationship knowing like there's a high probability that she's going to cheat. Yeah. Hmm. That's being, that's being, I'm, listen, I'm a realist. <laughs> okay. I, I, like, I, that word, but I was like, dang, I mean, is that really it? Like, I mean, again, this is, it's all, it goes back to what I was saying earlier about is she or he worth dealing with that heartache or that pain or that headache or whatever. Like eventually somebody's going to cheat. I know for a fact, I'm not a cheater. I don't cheat. I don't, I've never cheated before. Um, I will end a relationship quick, fast, in a hurry prior to me stepping out to sleep with another woman. You know what I'm saying? So me knowing me, I know for a fact I'm not going to cheat on you, but I don't know you 100% because there's things that you're probably hiding from me or whatever whatever it is. So I know there's a higher probability of you cheating compared to me cheating. You know what I mean? So what about polygamy, just having having multiple wives? Isn't that, is not that a solution? Is that like a... I don't, I don't, I don't believe in having multiple wives. I, th I think, I think it's stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. Why? I don't believe in multiple wives. I don't believe in polygamy. I don't believe in, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe in that stuff. But why? Like that whole, the whole sister wives thing. I, I think, I don't, I don't agree with it. Yeah. I, I think, I think it's stupid. I think that, that that's a whole nother expense. <laughs> that's a whole nother well, mouth to feed. I mean, if we're going to be married and you know that I'm not going to be enough for you anyway, let's just have a third. That's your variety right there. We're both sexually pleased. That's another. That's another that's, that's, income. Another person to help with the kids. I, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that's a variety. I would say that's another option. Like a, a variety is like a variety pack. Like it's 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 a it's a box full of ten different varieties. Like you you're you're just adding another option. That's that's two different things. So if I was to have you and then a third chick. If I'm sleeping with both of y'all for two, three years, eventually I'm gonna get bored of both of y'all. <laughs> so it's a, it's the same thing. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So every two to three years, you gotta cycle them out. That's that's what it is. Not, not even two to three years. Like if um, I think me, me and my, and I've said this story before. Um, back when I was speaking to um the other girl, um, the reason why me and my other ex, the Colombian ex, the reason why me and her worked out so well was because. Well, number one, I believe she was more gay than straight, in my opinion. Um, I'm sorry, she was more gay than bisexual, in my honest opinion. Um, the reason why it, me and her worked out so good was because she wanted to have a variety of women. And so when we sat down and came together and made it official, she was saying that straight up. She was like, yo, listen, like, I'm not really attracted to guys like that, but it's something about you that I, I would like, number one. Number two, I want to be married and have kids with a man. I don't want to do that with a woman. You know what I'm saying? So she admitted all that stuff to me. She said all that stuff to me. She's like, yo, I want you to understand this. Um, you know, I'm not saying we got to get married. I'm saying that. But if we were to get married, I want to let you know that this is what I want. Um, you know, are you cool with that? And I was like, all right, cool. I have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the reason why me and her uh, meshed so good together. Um, the, the problem that occurred was, again, she was sleeping with women behind my back. Um, one of the girls that, that we did have like freaking threesomes with, it turned out to be like an ex. And I'm just like, yo, listen, no, nah, we, we, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm drawing a line on that. And she like blew it up. She blew it away out all, all, all out of proportion, trying to make it seem like I was crazy. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, if it's really not that serious, then let me call my ex and we can have a threesome with her. And then she was like, no, I'm not doing that. What the fuck I look like? I'm like, exactly. So what are you, why are you getting so <laughs> mad about it? Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and, and that, and that's it. If, if I was to, um, be in a relationship with with another girl like her. I I mean now I don't think it probably will work because because of my standards now. But I believe that it has a higher probability of us being quote unquote happily married together, um, compared to me being with a woman that's not even interested in doing anything with another woman. So, how does that conversation go? Like once things get once you get bored, how does that conversation go with your wife? I think all that. I think that should have be. I think that stuff should be a, a topic of discussion before y'all even decide to get married. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but majority majority of girls that I mess with, 
um, a lot of them told me, oh, you know, I've messed with girls before, or, oh, I thought about messing with girls before. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are conversations that a lot of, a lot of us will have before even getting into a relationship. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, so, when it comes to like, actually you being in a relationship and you're like, okay, this, it, I've hit the two year mark where this is getting stale. I don't want to have this no more. How does that conversation come up? Cause I are like, she already has the understanding that you're going to get bored and you want variety. So when do you approach her and how does that conversation go? When do I approach her? Um, I don't even know. I, I would say towards the beginning, before before getting before getting into a relationship. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm saying saying. once y'all are together, like when you're together and you want that extra something, are you gonna tell your wife like, yo, you know, remember what we talked about? I'm feeling it now, and I'm gonna go look for something like. Oh yeah, then yeah, yeah, then yeah, because we already had that discussion and we still ended up together. So yeah, I, I would assume that you understood everything that I was saying. <laughs> and so now that the time has come, now it's time for me to pull this card. Like, right. like let's go. Like, what's up? It's like let's do let's do this together, or I do it by myself, or whatever. I'll prefer we do it together. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm from a place where you get chased with full clips, AKs and that type of shit by the police, bitch. They quit to throw them seeds on you, so we're away from your kids. I'm just trying to beat the odds, so I don't have to be another statistic. <laughs> I made it. Yep, I made it. Yep. Okay, I ran past the finish line. Tell these rappers it's my time. Devin Nears here, the claim was mine. I ran past the finish line. Tell these rappers, rappers more than just.